Hi guys, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. I get asked literally every day, what do you think about lab-grown diamonds? How do you think they compare to natural diamonds? What's the difference? What do I do about this lab-grown diamond thing? Well, before we can talk about the differences between natural and lab-grown, let's talk about what's the same. Visually, they're the same. Optically, they're the same. Chemically, they're virtually the same. A, a lab-grown diamond is made by simulating the conditions in which natural diamonds grew in the earth a billion years ago, but instead of growing them slowly over millions of years, they grow them quickly over days or weeks. So visually, optically, practically, they're the same. The way that they're different is that, na is that natural diamonds hold value in the long term. They have for the last many thousands of years, and I think they will continue to. Lab diamonds don't. A lab-grown diamond can be produced in infinite quantities, so it doesn't hold value the way a supply-constrained commodity like a natural diamond will. So what does that mean for you guys? Well, you have to ask yourself, do I care if the piece of jewelry that I'm making today is valuable 50 years from now? Maybe you care, maybe you don't. And I would think that for some pieces of jewelry, you'll care more than for others. For example, maybe for an engagement ring, you do care because that's gonna be a family heirloom that you'll pass down and one day your grandchildren will wear it. But maybe if you're making a pair of hoop earrings or a fun fashion ring or a cool bracelet, maybe you don't care. And maybe you're better off buying the lab-grown version that's cheaper because lab-grown diamonds are quite a bit cheaper than natural diamonds. I would say 70, 80% cheaper on average. So there's certainly is a valid reason to buy a natural diamond. There certainly is a valid, valid reason to buy a lab-grown diamond. It all depends on what your priorities are. Do you care more about something being valuable later or do you care more about saving money on it now? Because if you're looking to buy, say, a ring, for the same budget, you'll get a bigger, nicer lab-grown diamond than you will a natural, but it won't be worth anything in the future. So you have to ask yourself, does that matter to me? I hope you guys found that interesting and helpful. Feel free to ask any questions you want down there and I'll, I'll get back to you. Thanks.